Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play NES. I'm Josh from Offhand Games and in this episode we play Conflict by Victokai Incorporated. So, army sim, maybe? I'll go with one player. I'm so lonely. Uh, I guess something simple. Three units? My fame point? Blue level one. And which map? I guess we'll go with the Tale of Mid Cities. Kind of neat that you could just kind of pick everything from the beginning. Oh, joy. We're playing Risk. We're back to Limp Roar all over again. Blue is in control. Choose the unit to be moved. Hmm. Is this, a, is this a unit? My pointer looks like a number four. There we go. This is the flag tank. What are their orders? Move. Move that way. Uh, yeah, let's go this way. We're going to go down towards this bridge thing. Is that a bridge? I don't know. All right. Um, is this like a fueling supply vehicle? Well, let's, I guess, keep that with us. Oh, I don't know why I moved up. Probably want to keep that to the back anyway. All right. Get our helicopters in here. Oh, can you go that way? Well, they're, they're helicopters. They can go over water, right? Yeah, there we go. We'll move around whatever the bees are. I guess we'll figure that out later. This kind of reminds me of Advance Wars a little bit. I mean, I guess vice versa. It would have to be kind of based on this kind of game. And this is an interesting design choice on their part. You, I mean, I guess you could skip this or fast forward it, maybe. I'm not going to right away because I kind of want to see what they're doing, but watching it is sort of like watching a second player play really quickly. It doesn't seem to have hidden their choices at all. Maybe this is based on a board game that I'm unaware of. If not, then they've done a pretty good job of recreating the board game experience on a video game. Alright, uh, this blue thing, what is it? Oh, okay, it looks like we can make units here. No thanks. I just want to get into a fight. No, my turn's not done. Take my tanks in. Tanks, but no tanks. I don't know what that is. Is that mine, or is that just, like, another green team? Is there no bridge here? There's no bridge! Well, I have to kind of go all the way around. Alright, that's fine. We'll leave our fuel behind and just take our helicopter and tank in. Probably not the best military decision. Probably not the best tactical decision. But I want to see conflict. Because that's what this game is named, damn it. Take our... Air strikers in first since they move so much faster. No, I didn't mean to pick it again. Yes, my turn is done. Go, Team Orange. Who's probably doing much better than me economically because they actually chose to produce things and I did not. Oh, they're the red team. Wouldn't really know it to look, but. Oh, here he comes. Are we fighting? Oh, we're fighting. Oh, nice. We have some decent graphics. Now we have kind of a, yeah, kind of an Advance Wars Fire Emblem thing going on. Uh, we're going to attack. Or no, that was him choosing. This is a really neat way to do it. I have to say, like, Advance Wars has got to be sort of based on this. I want to look up the companies that made these games and just see if it went on to become that. Retire. Attack! Ha -cha, 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 cha Does that work really well against jets? Oh, jeez. 14 points damage. And it evaded. Of course it evaded. Let me, uh... If that's not the end of this melee, I'd like to try to shoot a missile or something. I don't have a lot of interesting strategical decisions they can make can defend. Turn, swing, accelerate, decelerate, look, accelerate. I'm Q. 
keeping a watchful eye. Oh no, he's keeping a watchful eye on me. Blue has lost sight of the enemy. The enemy was caught off guard and feels the presence of its attacker. Red has caught sight of blue. Lock on. It's kind of like an RPG, really. It's like a turn-based RPG strategy game. Swing. I can dance. Action swung. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Shit. Blue has exploded. Well, no shit, Red won the battle. Blue exploded. So this game would take a very long time to complete a round. Uh, if you're patient, which I can be at times when I want to play these kind of games, uh, you know, with a lot of planning and steady conquest of, um, of your opponent, then I'm sure you could do a good job. It doesn't seem like a very hard game. You could take your time and you know, really think about what you're about to do, as one should in a strategy game. And you will be... Let's hide. <laughs> Ninja tank. <laughs> you could, uh... You know, you could have a lot of fun with this. Uh, you'll be rewarded with the graphics and the music. And the music's not exactly orchestral, but it's decent. And the graphics are, are good enough to keep you excited during combat and while performing maneuvers. A machine gun should be a little bit more effective against a helicopter. What? Oh, okay, he's gonna try to dodge. He accelerated. That's bullshit. <laughs> Alright. Well, everybody, that is conflict. And as always, thanks for watching Let's Play NES. I'll see you next time.